Holy crap, eBay just made a huge change to the trading card side of things. Alright, make sure you guys smash your lovely crap out of the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on this. So, I'm going to display up here what everybody got actually yesterday afternoon. Based on feedback from our trading card seller community, we are updating our bid retraction policy for sports cards, non-sports trading cards, and collectible card game auctions. Starting June 30th, 2021, buyers will no longer be able to retract bids on trading card auctions without the seller's approval. Sellers may accept or reject auction bid retraction requests at their sole discretion. However, we encourage sellers to use their judgment and give buyers the benefit of the doubt. Sellers who decline bid retraction requests will not be subject to any consequences and buyers will have the ability to appeal. But please keep in mind that honest mistakes happen. We expect this change to significantly reduce the percentage of auction bid retractions by buyers. How the new auction bid retraction policy will work. Starting on June 30th, if a trading card buyer wishes to retract an auction bid, they will need to contact the seller via messaging on eBay to request a retraction. The seller will, at their sole discretion, be able to accept or reject the bid or the buyer's retraction request. If the buyer does not accept the request, the buyer's auction bid can still win or lose the auction and they will be accountable for the outcome. As noted, the bottom line of the auction listing, you can only retract your bid under certain circumstances, will also be informed on a retract a bid that is a bid is a binding, yeah, a bid is a binding contract. That That is very true actually. As of April 2021, if an item goes unpaid by the fifth calendar day, you may cancel the order due to a non-payment. Regularly missing payments may impact a buyer's account. Please check the unpaid item policy to learn more. We appreciate your support and willingness to work with this new policy as we anticipate our trading card policy update will make eBay more trusted and a fairer market for all. As always, thank you for selling on eBay. <sighs> okay. So there's a lot to unpack here. The first thing I want to say here is the amount of shill bidding that has been happening on high-end trading cards has been a problem all across the board on eBay. All right? I, I know a lot of people don't talk about this because, frankly, a lot of people don't really care. You know, it's just like the PSA market. And I mentioned this in a lot of videos because the PSA market, it exists. All right? Is it crazy important to know about it yes you do need to understand that some cards are worth a lot of money some are not so basically the big thing here is there's been a lot of shill building you're like what is shill bidding so it's where a lot of people will just bid on something to bid it up and they'll be like oh hey you guys might remember a certain person in the community <clears throat> rhymes with intage all right and you kind of you've, you've seen a lot of shill building in in the days from things like this okay what you end up seeing is people do this whole ghost bidding thing. And they're like, oh, wow, this should be a lot more. And then they'll bid it up. And then all of a sudden, if somebody doesn't outbid them, they just start retracting it. And then you'll see the listing fall back down to a lower point value. And I don't agree with any of this. All right? like, I think it was ridiculous that people had the ability to do that in the first place. All right, like Literally, ghost bidding up cards is literally BS. All right? Especially if you have no intent to pay for the item whatsoever oh man that's just scummy man like i understand that yeah it's a free marketplace and people can do whatever they want but literally being able to just raise the value of something you know for memes or other things aside but like it messes with the actual integrity and value that a lot of people look at in the market all right like a lot of people do use eBay completed for a few things that, you know, don't sell on TCG player because it actually has a running history of like the last three months. All right. So that's very important to understand. So what the system doesn't effectively prevent now is down here. They talked about in the policy works, you still basically can win the item and just not pay for it. All right. Like 
That's the downside. That part doesn't change, right? Yes, you get a strike on your account, but that's unfortunately the downside of things. Like, yeah, the policy basically now says that a bid is that legal binding contract, yes, but we still have over here in the other corner of the room. Unfortunately, um, the same problem that we've had for a while. Um, if they don't want to pay for the item, they, they don't have to. They just get the old strike on the wrist and you call it a day. Like, there's nothing... As much as I want to see more change and pushed for that, I understand that, yeah, honest mistakes happen. you got to give people the benefit of the doubt when it comes to this. But this is a pretty big game changer out here. I, the only other resolution that I see coming out of this is you're about to see a whole bunch of more zero feedback accounts bidding on things. And trust me, I only see what we see in the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things. I don't know how bad this is in the Magic the Gathering community. I would say it's nowhere near as bad as what you would probably see in the Pokemon community. Uh, I've, I've heard stories and read stories about people just bidding up cards, all right, in the Pokemon community. And is it anywhere near like what happens with SJC cards and things like that in our market? I don't know. I, we did have the whole um, fiasco. Oh, what was it over the Cyber Dragon? Um, well, yeah, the, the the fabled Mattel toy one. I like there was allegation or something over there about uh, bidding uh, ill and I don't know, man. That's a story for another day. But at the end of the day, here, hey. Good job, eBay. You're making a right push in the right direction, making a policy that says, hey, you bid on it, you're going to pay for it. But the fine line down here in the unpaid item category says, well, if you don't pay for it, you're going to get slapped with that hot non-payment, and then you're basically going to get your, your account striked over and over again. So what does this mean going forward? All right, so can we trust eBay for listing values and things? Yeah, to a degree. Uh, there's uh, actually what was it? We've seen sponsored eBay listings talking about. Oh, what was it? Sponsored eBay listings that were listing Shonen Jump cards. Ah, what was it? A couple months ago, uh, we actually saw what was it, like an SJC Stein Selfer in the ten thousand dollar ish range. I think it was what we had. Be our. Uh, we had the DDS Blue Eyes that also sold for a ridiculous amount of money as well. But once again, when you have people out here that are shill bidding, ghost bidding, doing all this crazy stuff out here, inflating the value of these cards with no intent to pay for them, and then, you know, you're basically hosing the system that people rely on to check values, to see how to accurately list something. And if somebody out here bids on something through the literal moon, you're basically inflating and ruining the market for the rest of everybody else. So integrity is a really big issue with this. Uh, and at the end of the day, I feel like this does check some of that. It does make eBay a safer place at the end of the day. Let's be honest here. But like I said, you're still going to see more of those stupid zero feedback accounts showing up on your listings going, I think I'm going to bid on this. And then, there, you know, two to three listings, strike, 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 and then the account's gone. You never see it again. All right. It, it's going to happen. It's a sad reality of the situation here. So, guys, please be aware that this is the new eBay policy going forward as of June 30th, all right? You'll still be able to bid, nothing changed on that front. Just understand that more so than ever, if you bid on something, something comes up, um, you know, in terms of bidding on something, you now won't be able to retract your bid without the consent of the person selling it. So that's going to be very important as well. So I can't wait to read some of the beautiful sob stories that people are going to come up with, all right, just to get an item canceled because they just overpaid on something or they didn't have enough money in their finances for the month. So I can't wait for that. So what do you guys think about the eBay policy change for trading cards? I'm actually very excited to see how this implements, to see how this will change things. Uh, small little ripples, small little things. I am glad to see that they are taking steps here because the sports card market and the Pokemon market are very, very interesting creatures. So guys, please leave a comment about what you guys think. Smash your subscribe button, subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys.
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCole40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCole40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MColeGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.